So basically, here is what is going down in today's video. A breaking family member by the name of Van who has sent us a package in the past has sent us another package and inside that package was a tin filled with Dollar Tree Pokemon booster packs. And well, that gave me an idea. Now, in addition to those Pokemon booster packs, I decided to get a bunch more. So I went to all of my Dollar Trees and I decided today we should open up over 200 Dollar Tree Pokemon booster packs. So Breaking Family, over the course of today's video and tomorrow's video, we are gonna be opening up all 200 plus of these Dollar Tree Pokemon booster pack sets ranging from Unified Minds to Cosmic Eclipse to Unbroken Bonds and Team Up. So I say let's not wait any longer, let's get down to business, see how many ultra rares we can pull out of one dollar Pokemon booster packs. My breaking family, we are here in the studio. A total of 210 Dollar Tree Pokemon booster packs that we're gonna be opening up over the course of the next two videos starting today. But right here is only 105 booster packs. We're gonna see how many ultra rares we can pull out of all of these booster packs. So what I need you to do right now in the comment section down below is I need you to make your prediction of how many ultra rares we're going to pull in just today's video, not tomorrow's video as well, but just today's video. And we got to give a huge thank you to Van for sending over this nice package, and that was not the only thing that was inside of it. There was a nice card right here for both me and Marie, and there was also, check this out, some Hidden Fates pin collection boxes that we'll be opening up in another video. So Van, a huge thank you to you for sending this over. I got to meet Van at the Pokemon World Championships uh, in Washington, DC. And in case you're wondering what Van wrote inside the card, he put, hope this box puts a smile on your faces. We haven't even opened up the booster packs yet and it's already brought a huge smile to my face. So thank you so much, Van and Breaking Family. If you wanna thank Van down in the comment section down below, I highly, highly recommend it. That was super, super nice nice of him. He sent over that tin, which had about, what, 60, 65 Dollar Tree Pokemon booster packs inside of it, and it gave me the idea for this entire two-part series. Let's not wait any longer. Let's go ahead and dive right in. Now, like I said earlier in the video, we have a wide variety of different Pokemon sets. We have Team Up, Unified Minds, Cosmic Eclipse, and Unbroken Bonds. I evenly distributed them out between today and tomorrow's video. So we're gonna see an equal amount of all of them. So let's go ahead and get started with our first booster pack. There is just so many of them. I'm gonna have to, uh, I don't know where I'm gonna put all these. There's there's too many. All right, we have a Tentacool, a Paris, and a Grass Memory. So no rare inside of that first booster pack, but we still have 104 more to go. I'm not gonna do the card trick on all of them. I'll probably do it just with a couple of them and then we'll power through the rest of them. So if you do get a rare card or a reverse hollow, it is going to be the middle card. I already did the card trick right here. So we have a Ponyta, Viridian Forest, and an Alolan Grimer. If this is your first time seeing Dollar Tree booster packs, you are not guaranteed a rare, a reverse hollow. There's not a code card inside, but they are only $1 and you can legit pull any card from the set. So you could pull the most rare card. We could pull, end up pulling, let's say, a Hyper Rare Reshiram and Charizard from Unbroken Bonds, and that would have been only a $1 booster pack. Now, Dollar Tree booster packs are my absolute favorite Pokemon packs to open up because maybe you don't want to spend a lot of money right away. Uh, maybe you're on a budget, um, wh whatever your reason may be. I just like to just grab just a couple of them, you know, and it doesn't break the bank while you're at it. You know, you can kind of uh, open up some Pokemon cards, have a good time, and maybe spend, you know, maybe about ten dollars on some uh, on some booster packs. So, all right, let's see what we got. If you haven't made your guess yet of how many, your prediction of how many ultra rares we are going to pull uh, in just today's video, make sure you go ahead and do that. I wanna see a lot of people's predictions and your thoughts on dollar store booster packs. Do you like them or do you hate them? I personally love them. They're my absolute favorite. All right, we have a Zora Judge Whistle. <laughs> that one's broken. And a Larvitar. So we've only pulled one rare so far. Erica's Hospitality, Hollow Rare. Goodness, I have to move all of this over here because there is just so much. I'm going to, uh, I'm obviously starting with Team Up. 
And I'm gonna go ahead and remind you, make sure you hit that bell notification icon right at the bottom of your screen. That way you are notified soon as part two goes live tomorrow right here on this channel. Energy. Full art Sabrina suggestion. We got a full art trainer ultra rare Pokemon card from a $1 Dollar Tree booster pack. Sabrina suggestion. Look at that. That is a beautiful, beautiful card. And it's got those Kanto vibes. Very nostalgic. And I need my sleeves. You know how much we love nostalgia here on the channel. If you can't tell from my background of the old Pokemon food in the background. I got the cereal back there. You can probably see uh, it, It's probably hiding right back there cereal right back there. I got macaroni and cheese down there I got the the pop tarts all that from around 2000 2001 and then of course we have the arcade machine from about 2001 and the Pokemon snap station right back there Both of those have been sitting there for months um, but we love nostalgia here on the channel, so pulling a Full Art Sabrina suggestion makes me very, very happy. And plus, Full Art Trainer cards are my absolute favorite Pokemon cards to pull. Ammonite and a Reverse Hollow Metal Goggle. So I'm going to keep out every single rare that we pull, every single Reverse Hollow, even if it's not a rare Reverse Hollow. And then, of course, all the Ultra Rares. So... If your prediction was zero ultra rares, you are already incorrect, my friend, because we got that full art Sabrina's suggestion already. So one ultra rare in the bank, so to speak. Still going with team up. And I actually don't think I've pulled a uh, full art Sabrina suggestion yet. Nidoran, Grass Memory, and a reverse hollow Aerodactyl for the rare. And if you're new here to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, become part of the Breaking Family. We open up new Pokemon items, we open up vintage Pokemon items here on the channel. We do a little bit of everything in the Pokemon world because I love new Pokemon stuff and I love old Pokemon stuff from way back in the day too. 90s, early 2000s, I love all that stuff. But I love now too. I love present day. And a Vulpix for the rare. I'm just going to put that right back there. Okay. Okay, we're going to do the card trick probably just a couple more times, and then we are going to go straight into probably just powering through all of this stuff because there's a lot of booster packs. We're probably still at 90-some, I would bet. Skarmory, and that is a rare. You can see right down there, rare, star symbol, which means rare. If you're curious, maybe you're new to Pokemon collecting, a star down in uh, a filled-in star would uh, mean a rare or a hollow rare. Um, a star that is hollow, so not filled in, is going to be an ultra rare or better. A, a circle is going to mean common, and then a diamond is going to mean uncommon. And then a star with the words promo is going to mean, you guessed it, promo. That wasn't a hard one. All right. We have a Squirtle sleeping. Hey, wake up. We have a lot of booster packs to open up. Metal goggles and a tentacle for the rare. Love the background in that one. It's got that like, uh, that like 60s, 70s vibe going on. All right. We have ourselves a Pidgeotto. Oh, I cheated. Pupitar and a Nidoran. Still in team up. A lot of team up booster packs. Um, and I am not, I'm not taking a break between filming today's video and tomorrow's video. I am actually, soon as today's video is done, I'm turning off the camera. And then I'm turning it right back on and we're filming part two. So I'm going to be sitting here for a while, but it's going to be broken up into two videos, obviously. All right, Magikarp, Jasmine, and a Reverse Hello Farfetch, which is, by the way, in my top uh, five favorite Pokemon of all time. Continuing with Team Up. All right, let's just do a couple more, just a couple more of the card tricks. Uh-oh. Shaman Prison. How you doing, Shaman Prism? Did I say Shaman Prison? It's Shaman Prism. I don't know what I said. I said one or the other. Either way. Either way. Squirtle. Energy. And a Reverse Hollow Charmander for the rare. Now, I'm not sleeving up my Prism cards. I'm just putting them right there. And I will put the values of all the Ultra Rares down in the corner of your screen just in case you are curious about values of Pokemon cards currently as I'm filming this video. You know, like I say, there's no wrong way to collect if you want to collect based off your favorite Pokemon, based off of value, 
or you're just trying to get one of everything, no wrong way to collect. So I like to put that value down in the bottom corner for those of you that are interested. All right. Next one. All right, I promise I'm gonna stop the card trick here in just a minute. I'm trying to get through all of Team Up and then just switch to powering through. And a Lullaby for the not rare inside of that one. I think we have two, two Team Ups left. And then we are going into Cosmic Eclipse next. Vulpix, Muta, and a Joltik. Yeah, I think this is the last, last Team Up booster pack for today's opening. We'll have some more in tomorrow's uh, Dollar Tree opening, obviously. We have a Blitzel, Nidorina, and a Primeape, which is a rare. Hopefully I'm not missing any rares. If I do, I'm sure somebody out there will catch it and call me on my mistake. All right, Cosmic Eclipse. We are going into Cosmic Eclipse, which is the newest set as of the recording of this video. We are trying to pull one of every single Cosmic Eclipse card. You see that binder right back there. That binder holds all our Cosmic Eclipse cards, trying to get one of every single one of them, and it is so hard to pull Ultra Rares from Cosmic Eclipse. Trust me, it's not just you, it's me as well. I have just a hard time pulling Ultra Rares as all of you do from Cosmic Eclipse. It almost seems like it's impossible, but I'm not giving up. Nope. Nope, I'm foolish. I'm trying to get one of every single card from the biggest card set in Pokemon TCG history. Lily's full force and that thing right there. All right, so no, no rares just yet from Cosmic Eclipse. No ultra rares yet either from Cosmic Eclipse. Eevee, Alolan Muck, which is... A rare, so that's our first rare from uh, Cosmic Eclipse. Energy, and that thing right there. All right, I'm gonna put that in the reverse hollow spot. Try to keep everything nice and tidy. Going into our next Cosmic Eclipse. Uh, I think Unified Minds is the most uh, booster packs we have of any set. Swana, which is another rare. Energy, and that thing. Uh, yeah, because um, Van sent us, I think, the most uh, uh, Unified Minds. He sent Unified Minds and Cosmic Eclipse. Mallow and Lana and that thing once again. All right. Have you had any luck with Dollar Tree booster packs? I actually have pretty decent luck. As I'm saying that, pretty decent luck right there. Full Art, Venusaur, and Snivy, which I have not pulled the Full Art version yet. I have the regular and I, blah, blah, blah. I have the regular and I have the Hyper Rare version, but I do not have the Full Art version yet. And that is a beautiful, beautiful card. Where is those Venusaur, the Bulbasaur fans uh, who picked Bulbasaur as their very first starter? I'm not gonna lie. I didn't. Charmander was my first starter, but I always love hearing who picked Bulbasaur as their first starter. Let me know down in the comments. All right. We're doing pretty good, right? Not too bad. You can't complain with that right there. Next up, we have Ducklet, Reverse Hello Rawls, and a Zangoose, which I always feel looks like David Bowie, right? My favorite musician of all time, David Bowie. And I, that gives me some David Bowie vibes right there. All right. Comments and uncommons off to the side. We have a Alolan Sandshrew, Ponyta, and a Mimikyu just hiding in the forest as always, as a Mimikyu does. Next up we have Eevee, Seismitoad, and a red and blue. And that Seismitoad is a rare. So we've actually pulled a cup, uh, maybe, no, maybe just one thing. Probably that right there, just that, that we needed for the binder back there. Uh, if we have time, we'll uh, we'll look in the binder at the very end of today's video, and we'll add in the cards that I needed. Psyduck, the best Pokemon in the entire world. Don't argue with me. You know it's Psyduck. Don't lie to yourself. Deerling, Walren, which is another rare. It is just nonstop rares at this point. So Cosmic Eclipse is treating us pretty good. We have a nut to Palpitoad and a Lily for the rare inside that one. And not to, not to is a bird, and it'd be rude to tell the bird to just sit there and not fly away, right? So go ahead and fly away, bird. Don't worry, I take up all the cards. Don't flip out on me. Jim, oh, oh, oh. All right. All right, breaking family. Full art, Arceus, Dialga, and Palkia. This is legit. 
legit, it's either the fourth or fifth time I have pulled one of these cards right here. This exact, uh, this exact art version right here, which is the full art alternate, uh, alternate art, uh, in a sense, I guess you should say. Wow. It is a beautiful, beautiful card, and I am not complaining at all. Wow. Wow. I gotta sleeve that one up. Whoop. We're doing really good. Cosmic Eclipse is treating us very, very kindly. And we still have, we still have a good amount of Cosmic Eclipse to open up. Cosmog, Panchum, and an Energy. And I'll put that right back there. There's gonna be a lot of cards to clean up. I personally don't want to, but I have to adult. You know, we have to do that sometimes, unfortunately, but that's just the way it works. Nose Pass, Snow Runt, and an Energy. I'll put that right back there, that right over there. I feel like we can get at least one more Ultra Rare from Cosmic Eclipse. I'm feeling positive about it. I honestly am. Carvana, ooh, nah, nah. Tapig and Dragonium Z. All that off to the side. There is a huge mound right over here of booster pack, or just wrappers, empty wrappers, and, uh, and commons and uncommons. That's where my huge, huge pile is going right there. Swirlix. How you doing, Swirlix? Krigatot and an Iggly buff as the not rare inside of that one. Do me a favor, give this video a like. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. I would love to try to get it to like, maybe just something simple, like 1,500 likes. That's all I'm asking for. I'm not going overboard. I'm not asking for 5,000, 10,000. Just a simple 1,500 likes is all. I would definitely appreciate it. Hilliptiotile, Temple, and a Lily's Poke Doll. And that thing, once again, all right, Cosmic Eclipse, treating us good. Rallet, Weavile, which is a rare, I believe. Yes, Weavile is a rare and a Cricketune. Actually, I'm just kind of curious. I want to count up all the rares real fast. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, as far as Reverse Hollows, one, yeah, one, two. Not bad, 10, 10 rares all together and then those Ultra Rares. Psh, any day of the week. Trapinch, Spiel. And an energy, I'll put that right there, that right back over there. And we are going into Unified Minds. We still have Unified Minds and uh, Unbroken Bonds to open up. So still a lot of booster packs. Metatite, Noibat, and a Basculin. It is kind of uh, difficult to open these up. So if you are really, really concerned about the condition of your cards, hey, another rare. If you're really concerned about the condition of your cards, uh, be very careful when you open these up because there is only three cards inside, so it can be easy to bend them because there's not um, not a lot of, uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I feel like it's a very sciency type of word, but I can't think of it. I should have paid attention more uh, when I was studying, but I didn't. Oh, well, what am I going to do now? Yeah, I pay attention now, right? Put that right there. Um, there's only three cards, so there's a, a lot of give to it. We have Drifloon. Hey, nice. Hollow Rare goodness. I'll put that right over there. That's actually, believe it or not, Breaking Family, that is our first Hollow Rare. Not Reverse Hollow, but just, oh no, Erica's Hospitality. My apologies, Erica, to you and your family. I did not mean to forget about you, but I apologize. All right, Hoot Hoot, fly away, Hoot Hoot. Komala, how you doing? And a Yon Mega. Ugh. See, like right there, I feel like I bent the cards. Snow Runt, Tunamo, and a Misty's Favor, but I didn't, so hey, count that as a win. We, uh oh, Breaking Family, I see something. Snow Runt, and a Giratina and Garchomp full art Breaking Family. We are doing amazing with our Pokemon card opening so far. Today's huge Dollar Tree, $1. Only $1 for each of these booster packs. Dollar Tree Pokemon card pack extraordinaire. Phenomenal. I don't know how many adjectives we want to use, but um, we are doing very, very good when it comes to ultra rares right now. Three full arts in a row. Not in a row, but kind of like back to back, right? Ear ringing bell and an energy. I'll put that right over there. It's weird. We haven't pulled, haven't pulled just like any... Um, Regular ultra rares, just like regular arts. Noibat, Suwaddle, which is not a rare, and an energy. I'll put that right over there. 
Continuing on to Unified Minds. Of course, probably the most valuable card from this set is the Hyper Rare. Hey, Noivern's a rare. Hyper Rare, um, uh, Mewtwo, and Mew, which we've also not pulled that card. But I'm not giving up. I'll pull it eventually. Bone Sweet, Joltik, looking in a mirror. Sometimes you just have to look... I don't, I'm, it's not looking in a mirror. I'm pretty sure they're just marching in a line, but it looks like it's looking in a mirror. And sometimes you just have to look in a mirror and you just got to reflect, reflect on the things that you've done in life, reflect, uh, reflect about the choices you've made, you know, good choices, bad choices, whatever they may be. Sometimes a good reflection on yourself is, uh, is a good thing. Basculin, that kind of helps you keep yourself in check, right? Next booster pack. We got Wimpod, Zygarde, which is another rare. We're actually doing pretty, pretty phenomenal when it comes to just uh, just pulling rares as well. Pikachu, how you doing, Pikachu? And Magmortor, which is another rare, and Cherish Ball, which is almost like a rare because it's a very, very playable, uh, playable card in the competitive Pokemon scene right now. Pidov, Muna. And an energy. I'll put that right back there. I think that hit the lamp up there. My bad. It's my house. I can do what I want, okay? Minotite, Shroomish, and an energy. See, that's a good thing. When you have your own house, you can just kind of do what you want. Suwaddle. And Execute. There we go. And an energy right there. See, I'm already starting to lose my mind. There's way too many booster packs at this point. Luckily, I brought some H2O Escavalier, Escavalier, Escavalier for our rare in that one. See, H2O, because Arceus knows I'm going to need it. Litwick and a Cubone, more Canto vibes from Cubone. Thank you for those Canto vibes, Cubone. We appreciate it. Canto is uh, my favorite region. Magnemite. Fletchling, fly away, Fletchling, and a Relicanth. All right, we still have a good amount of Unified Minds to open. Uh-oh. Breaking Family, full art, Pokemaniac. I love the artwork on this card right here. We are getting some pretty insane Ultra Rare pulls right now. So many full arts in our $1 uh, Dollar Tree booster pack opening. Dollar Tree Pokemon cards. Full art Pokemaniac, that is insane. Not the card, but it's just insane that we pulled so many full arts already. One, two, three, four, five. Five of them already. And this is how many more booster packs we have to open up right here. I'm trying to power through on Breaking Family. Trying, trying to power through. We have ourselves a Wimpod and an Energy. I'll put that right back over there. Continuing on, continuing on with Unified Minds. I can't even speak at this point. Yatma and a Gabite. Uh. See, it gets to a point where I can't even open up anything. We have a Reverse Hollow Zerka Tree, which is a rare. I'll put that right back there. You can go ahead and laugh at me. Get, get a couple laughs out. It's fine. I'd rather you laugh at me than laugh at someone random. Uh-oh. Breaking Family. I see something shiny right there. Jirachi GX Ultra Rare goodness. My friends, we are getting a lot of good stuff. Breaking Family, this is absolutely insane right now. I feel like I'm going crazy with all these good pulls. Jirachi GX right up there in the VIP section, the very important Pokemon section. It's like a nice little dance club right there. And that's where all the important ones go. And Psyduck gets its own little area. Psyduck has its own dance club. That's how important Psyduck is. All right, Fletchlander. How you doing, Fletchlander? Galvantula, which is a rare. We'll take it. Put that right over there. Unified Mind, still going strong. That's our first non-full art pull right there. And Cresselia, which I feel, every time I see that, I feel like it should be a rare, but it's not. Not a rare. Look at that. That's weird that it's not a rare. Feels like it should be, right? Cresselia is an important Pokemon. I mean, they're all important, technically. Marini, Lucario, which is another rare, right? It's not pulling something crazy on me. Lucario, rare, yes. All right, I'll straighten that up. 
continuing onward. Do you see it, Breaking Family? Do you see it? Fletchlander and a Dragonite GX and a Hapu. Dragonite GX, welcome to the party, the VIP section. Whoop, there we go. Nice, I'll put that right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven ultra rare cards, ultra rare Pokemon cards from Dollar Tree Pokemon packs so far. Noibat. And you got to remember, this is a two part video. So we still have another 105 to open up tomorrow. We have Litwick and a Titanol. Oh, I can't, I can't open them up. I've, I've hit my limit. I've hit my limit. My fingers are tired and they said no more. Bound sweet. Okay, we can do it. Just a couple more. Just a couple more breaking family. Onyx, Electros, and a Titan also going into the rare pile. Electros. Oh, there we go. That one opened up nice and smooth. Breaking family once again. We got something. Naganadel GX full art. What is up with all of these full arts? What is up with all of these full arts in this Pokemon opening? That is insane breaking family. I feel like we're gonna get another one. I really do. I feel like we're gonna get another, another ultra rare pull. We've had so many so far and I feel like we're going to get another one. I'm staying positive. That's what it's all about. Just staying positive. All right. Selling it, Ryolu and a Breloom. We are about to about to hit unbroken bonds. Selling it, Ryolu and a Bibaral. This mound is falling into the camera view. Trying to push it aside. All right, Bidoof, unpheasant, not so pleasant. I'll put it right over there, and I'll put that right back there where it belongs. Pikachu, how you doing, Pikachu? And a Lickitung giving us those nice Kanto vibes. I'll put that right over there. How many more Unified Minds do we have? Noibat, Suwaddle, and a Noctowl. We have one, two, three, three more Unified Minds, and then we are going straight into Unbroken Bonds. Honedge and a Pikachu, which I love the artwork on that Pikachu. Energy, put that right back there. Cottony, Reverse Hello Snow Runt. I'll put that right there. Okay, things are getting a little out of hand right now. Unified Minds, last Unified Minds booster pack, and then we are going into Unbroken Bonds, and that will be it for today's video. Ending on a Noivern for, uh, for Unified Minds. Now it is time to go into Unbroken Bonds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Let's do this. All right, we are in the final stretch, Breaking Family. Unbroken Bonds. Let's see if we just can't get ourselves a Hyper Rare, Reshiram, and Charizard, which I think, by the way, I think that card's still holding strong at like $150 US, I think, as far as value goes. Holding very strong. I mean, it's a very playable card. Right, too, for the Rare. We saw a lot of them in Pokemon World, so very, very playable. All right, we have a Sandile Meowth. And it, uh, an energy. I almost forgot the name of it. It's an energy. See, at this point, my brain starts to go crazy. Alolan Diglett and a Tyrogue. All right, Reshiram and Charizard. Even though I feel like I feel like the Charizard is never in the Charizard pack artwork. Bell Sprout, Reverse Hello Seal, and energy in that card. Lucario Mel Metal. Feel like the Unbroken Bonds Dollar Tree uh, Pokemon packs are getting just a little bit harder to find. A lot of the other sets are pretty easy to find, but that Unbroken Bonds tends to be a little bit of a harder one. All right, we have Seal, Weezing, and a Metal Core Barrier. Seal goes right there. Metal Core Barrier, or uh, Weezing, uh, I'm, I'm confused. Metal Core Barrier's right there. Weezing goes in the rare pile. So Reverse Hello Seal goes right over there. If you're looking for dollar store booster packs, you can find them at Dollar Tree um, and Dollar General. Butterfree. 
and they are real. Yes, they're not fake. They are real Pokemon cards. The majority of these I actually found at, not Unbroken Bonds, but the majority of all the packs that you see in today and tomorrow's video um, came from at Dollar Trees. These Unbroken Bonds, I think, are actually the only ones that came from at Dollar General. But you can actually see there is a little Dollar General sticker right there. All right, we have Tangrowth, which is a rare. Green's Exploration. Last booster pack, Breaking Family. If you've not hit the like button yet, go ahead and hit the like button. Make sure that bell notification icon is turned on so you are ready for part two. It was a crazy ride today. Will part two be even crazier? Let's see what we are ending on. Squirtle, Chat Tot, and a Rhyhorn coming in strong. How many Ultra Rares did we get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Ultra Rares. Breaking Family, I'll see you in tomorrow's video. My Breaking Family, thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy schedule to come and hang out with this weird person right here. If today was a rough day for you, remember that tomorrow is a new day, a new day for you to wake up and give it your best. Don't forget, life is awesome and so are you. I love every single one of you amazing people and I will see all of you, all of you, in the next video. Do it with me now. Peace, love, and a high five.